So if you're anything like me, you've had a little bit of trouble keeping track of all your different 3D assets, be that materials or actual 3D models. I'm going to show you a desktop app that you can use in order to organize your different assets for quick use in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Connector is a free tool that you can download that's specifically built for managing your different 3D models and materials and other things like that. It's specifically built to be a tool that helps you manage all of your different media files, but specifically 3D modeling files. So you can download that here. As, as far as I know, it's a Windows only tool, but you can download and install it and you can use this in order to manage your model library. So as a lot of you know, I actually run multiple different channels. So I have a Blender channel. Um, so I have several different channels that I'm using that use different kinds of files, right? And my assets folder on my computer is actually kind of, uh, it's not organized as well as I would like. So usually what you end up doing, right, is you usually end up creating folders on your computer to keep track of things like your different objects and your files. Like I have a SketchUp files folder in here where I keep different SketchUp files, um, but everything is a little bit clunky, right? Like trying to keep track of all of this. However, with connector it's a lot easier and I'll go ahead and remove this folder just so you can see how I would add this in connector so basically what you do is you open up the program and then over on the left hand side right here you add folders so for example I have a folder that has all of my 3d assets in it so I would just click on the plus button right here to add that folder then we're gonna go find that folder and in particular this one is labeled objects right so I would select my objects folder right here well when I do that what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up that folder over here on the left-hand side of the page. And so the first thing we wanna do, and this is really powerful, is there's a button over here on the right-hand side of the page for show files in subfolders. So if you click on the button for show files in subfolders, that is then going to show every single object that's in a subfolder over here, as well as the objects that are actually in just the objects folder. So notice how if I don't do that, I don't see any files in here. If I do that, then I can see these different files inside of connector. And so notice how at the moment, this is showing me the SketchUp files that are contained inside of this folder. And so previously what I would have had to do is I would have had to go into this folder. I would have had to find my SketchUp files folder like this. And again, notice how we don't have the nested files turned on. But when I turn that on, you can see this, I would have had to go into each one of these individual folders in order to find the different things that are in here. But now I can just click on my objects right here and see my SketchUp files. One of the things that makes Connector really powerful is notice how we've got these different tabs up here. Well, you can use this in order to filter the kind of files that you see. So notice how, for example, if I click on the images filter, it's going to show me just image files. Well, in this case, obviously, since we're working with SketchUp, we want to filter for 3D files. So that's going to show me all of the 3D files inside of this objects folder. But then within that, there's a little drop down that allows me to select different kinds of assets. So for example, if I was to click on select all, it's going to show me all of the 3D assets that are contained in that folder. Well, that's a lot of stuff and I don't really need all of that stuff, right? Like I've got a bunch of like parts and pieces for Unreal Engine models and all that stuff. I don't really need all of that. In particular, we're looking for SketchUp files. So I would just click on the drop down right here. I would deselect all of the formats and I would just select the SKP files. That's gonna filter everything out in here so I can see those files. Well, the cool thing about this, and I'm gonna split my screen real quick. The cool thing about this is I can actually take those SketchUp files and I can actually drag them directly into SketchUp. So notice how, for example, I was able to quickly add that cabinet in here. Um, I can also drag like the sofa in from that library. I could drag this chair in. So you can take all of those different models and you can drag them directly into SketchUp directly from Connector. The cool thing about this is these do also come in with like materials applied to them, which is very cool. And you can use this in order to organize your different folders as well. So let's say for example, that all of my cabinets weren't in my cabinets folder. Well, notice how what I can do is I can select them from my overall SKP files folder. So I can do a shift click right here and then you can drag models into different folders. So I can take this and I can put this into my cabinets folder right here. Notice how it shows me that those files were moved successfully. So you can use this in order to manage your structure in here. Another thing you can do is you can also not only use this to keep track of your SketchUp 
files, but you can also use this to keep track of your materials. So notice I have a different folder for materials and nothing is showing up right now. The reason nothing is showing up is because I'm currently trying to filter for SketchUp models or 3D models, but there aren't any 3D models in this folder because it's my materials folder. What you can do is you can come over here and you can filter four different kinds of files. So for example, I can filter for HDR files if I wanted to. Notice how you can see those in here. You could also filter for like PNGs, so, or really kind of any image file that you have in here if you wanted to do that. You could also do a filter for like file names. So let's say for example that I wanted just my muddy stuff. I could type in mud right here. Well notice how that's gonna find all of my file names with mud inside of them. So you can use this not only to keep track of your um, your SketchUp model files, you can also use this to keep track of your 3D material files. And again this is probably not the best way to go about this but you can take those image files and you can just drag them directly into SketchUp like this and so that's going to bring them in as an object right and then you can uh you can't sample them yet but if i right click and explode as soon as i explode this it's going to convert the image that's applied to this to a material and then you can sample that material and apply it to other things so you can use this in order to quickly bring materials into your sketchup files if you decide that you want to do that as well all right, so I will link to Connector in the notes down below. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're using this tool. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.